AFC 10 light heavyweight title on the line. Michael Eunice in the black trunks taking on Andrew Clamp from Team Coliseum in the red cage steel shorts. I'm David Leatherby alongside me, Jay Furness. Jay, unit division could be on call for Michael Eunice. Quite a dominating figure there. Yeah, he looks uh, very in shape. Very big guy, but Clamp, uh, the ranger of the two, but also a big guy at the weight, and he starts straight away with a huge slam. Michael Eunice is no small guy to, to pick up like that, but Clamp had no trouble at all, and now he finds himself in top position where he wants to be early doors. Yeah, spoke to crew Aaron Chatfield before the bout. Clamp's coach saw this as a sort of striker versus a grappler matchup. Eunice with a striking background, Clamp the grappling as he yucks to put that to Pay Jay with some left hands. Yep, and he's advanced his position there. But Eunice scrambles out, looks to uh, sprawl heavy, but great, great work in the scramble there from Clamp. Maybe Eunice is looking for a choke. Yeah, and you, you often see, Jay, I mean, th these big guys, if they're going to hit a move, it will be a guillotine just through sheer brute strength. Yeah, but Clamp has also got that strength, as you just saw him just hoist Eunice up in the air and slam him again, but Eunice very athletic and pops straight back to his feet. Again, looking to really uh, lock on that guillotine choke. Clamp finds himself into the mount, though. Dominant position, if he can just solidify it and just calm the pace down a little bit, I think that will be his, uh, his number one priority. Yeah, it's very erratic at the moment, Jay, and there are all sorts of gaps being left by both guys as Eunice pushes him off. And now let's see the stand-up action. This is where Eunice would have wanted it. Yep, and let's see if he can make the most of it for me. Clamps, obviously, oh, he comes in with punches of his own and looks straight away for that takedown again. It's a beautiful left hook to start that little move off from Andrew Clamp as he's now looking for the takedown again. Yep, switching to that single leg off the cage, and he gets it. But Eunice looking to scramble back to his knees and work from that position. He's, um, he's shown some good scrambling ability. He's, uh, Clamp has been taking him down, but Eunice is not letting him settle, and he's uh, always moving off his back and not giving his man the chance to uh, set up any big up major offense. But as I say that, he gets to the mount position, starts letting the hands go. Gives up his back, does Michael Eunice. Andrew Clamp going to look for the choke here. Yeah, just trying to work that choke in. He's softening him up with some punches and trying to open up that neck. Hard to see from an advantage point, Jay. Both fighters with their back to us at this moment in time, but huge trouble now for Michael Eunice as he gets flattened out by Clamp. Yeah, this is a real bad spot for Eunice. Clamp has got great back control and he keeps flattening him out. That's not only tiring, but demoralizing when you work hard to get back to your knees and then you get flattened out again. And he keeps rolling, but Clamp's on top. He's got 10 seconds to ride this round out. If, uh, if I was Clamp, I'd just be throwing some heavy lever to try and do some damage before the end of the round. And he finishes in the back mount, and for me, that's a round in the bag for Clamp with that uh, dominant spell at the end there. Yeah, certainly. Andrew Clamp making good use of his grappling skills at the end there. And let's face it, if it was a five round, five minute, should I say, J round, he would have been in all sorts of trouble there with Michael Eunice. Eunice almost seems to be scrambling Jay through sheer athleticism so much rather than technique. He's just been able to shrug his guy off. But as you can see, as the round wore on, there's only so long you can do that. And he's looking very tired. You know, those, um, those kind of explosive movements, you know, they, they take a lot out of you. And when you're going and making your escapes through, uh, as you say, just sheer power instead of technique, it's a lot harder to uh, a lot harder work and it's going to burn up quite a lot of calories. And as you see there, Eunice bre breathing really heavy. And uh, Clamp looks the fresher man coming out for round two. I'd like to see what will happen if Eunice can manage to stuff some of these takedowns and keep the bout on the feet for any prolonged period. Yeah, I mean, certainly Michael Eunice is under no illusion of the strength of his competitor. And we say that, Jay, and it's just too easy for Andrew Clamp as he's able to shoot in again. Mark Goddard having a close look at this. Some big punches landing there for Clamp. Eunice looking to make a bit of space with that knee in, but Clamp is throwing big punches in there. That right hand is coming in and landing on the button. To be fair to Eunice, he didn't look particularly hurt. He looked quite calm, but you know, you've know you got to show a lot more than that if you don't want the ref to stop the fight. Now in full mount position is Andrew Clamp, and he's laying down the left and right punches. They don't look too heavy, but he looks for the armbar. He spun off for it, and that, that armbar looks deep from this position, Dave. 
Eunice is holding on, but oh, that is a, a brutal. He just stuffed it under the armpit. Eunice trying to escape from that position, but the armbar is tight. Oh, wow. and he switches. How did Michael Eunice survive that, Jay? Yeah, he's just out of uh, oh, he's, the fight is stopped. Ground and pound there from Clamp. He switched from the armbar, got back on top position, just landed some heavy shots, and Eunice had no answer from his back. Absolutely relentless finish from Andrew Clamp. I love the way that he transitioned to that submission, Jay, but when he didn't get it, he just went straight back to the strikes. He didn't give Eunice any time to think about trying to defend or, or trying to snake out the hips or anything. He was just right back on him. And what a dominating win here to pick up the light heavyweight title for Andrew Clamp. Hugely impressive. Takes that belt back to Team Coliseum. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, after 59 seconds of the second round, your winner and new AFC Lion Heavyweight Champion, Andrew Plan. And the belt presented by the only Heavyweight Champion, Dave Hill. And please, ladies and gentlemen, appreciation for a great opponent in this fight. Michael Eunice.